Recently, the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAVDAC, has raised an alarm over bread sold in a market today. According to NAVDAC, many of the breads are failing laboratory tests according to the use of saccharin. The news in details. My news on point. Your pulse on trending news. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hmm. Now, this revelation is not only concerning for co consumers, but also raises questions about the practices within the food making, uh, bread making industry, I beg your pardon, especially given the current economic challenges. And so, to help us understand this, uh, we are joined by Onora Emmanuel. He is the president of the Premium Bread Makers Association of Nigeria to shed light on these concerns and what the industry is doing to ensure the safety of bread uh, sold in Nigeria. Mr. Onora Emmanuel, welcome to the program. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you, you came uh, with a t-shirt, P-Ban. Yeah, P-Ban. Ah, that's very yeah, good. Yeah, that's it, P-Ban. I, I promised we're going Premium to serve bread. bread. Maker, Premium Bread Makers Association of ah, Nigeria. That's good. You I didn't promised come with the bread. You didn't come with the bread. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the prices are soaring. People are you know, well, embracing sharp practices. We just learned that um, there, there was this talk about uh what, what did they call it a dangerous bread something about bread not even going bad yeah you store it and then this one where ingredients like sugar is being substituted for saccharine what's the gravity of the situation currently regarding this um thank you once more for having me you know when i saw this report was it about two weeks ago mm -hmm. yeah we we're taken aback but it wasn't not that national it wasn't professor Adeye. it was the abaddon office that actually came up with this Meaning that whatever they're trying to say that is localized, it's not a national thing. Mm. Yeah, it was Ibadan that came up, the, um, the LSO in Ibadan or so, that mm. came up with this report. It wasn't the um, NAVDAC national. But that's not trying to hold brief for anybody. The truth is, bread making is intricate, yes. Bread making materials are soaring. But I speak for PBAN. I don't talk for others. I talk for my members because we have our do's and don'ts in PBAN, we have our core values that we all adhere to strictly. We have our constitution that binds us as PBAN members. You know, for you to be a PBAN member, mark that word PBAN, Premium Bread Makers Association of Nigeria. What does it tell you? It tells you that we are premium. Most of us that are PBAN members are people that have worked and done well in their spheres of endeavor before they dovetailed into making bread. Oh. For instance, I'm a petroleum engineer. I worked in oil and gas for 24 years. In Piban, we have more than 5,000 in-class experience of people that have excelled in their places of, um, their choices of um, endeavor, and they came into bread making. Running company, running businesses, you know, with good amount of um, uh, personnel, with good amount of quality personnel that will help you run your businesses the right way. Yes. So, we are zero tolerance to the use of harmful addictive Mr. Onora, I have to ask um, uh, one of the reasons cited for this uh, uh, production that we're seeing and this substantial production of bread that we're seeing is the rising cost of sugar, one of the key ingredients. And so I have to ask, can you give us a sense of, you know, what uh, bread makers and manufacturers of bread are facing in terms of the high cost of yeah, food keeping that it is now you know, into production? Well, I, I will always say this, uh, Mazino, I will always speak for PBAN, and I will keep saying PBAN, 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 because that's the much I know. I have a con constitution that binds me. Look, in PBAN, we tell our members, please, as our ground norm, before you become a member of PBAN, one, you must be not that certified. Two, you must have an address. Three, you must use the right components of um, equipment that is environment friendly, and you must use, you must endeavor to use the right ingredients. We frown at the use of our unwholesome materials to make bread. So having said that, let us now come into bread making. And that is why in PBAN, rather than cut corners, Rather than be involved in any shenanigan, what do we do in PBAN? We adjust our prices and maintain our quality because we know that what people are eating tells who they are. Mm. What you ingest goes into you and does a lot of harm to you. Of course, we cannot run away from the fact that there are so many 
um, cases of renal failure today in Nigeria. People having all sorts of diseases today. If it's not these, the Morris Mpox or whatever you call them. Do the members of PBAN um, face ch challenges, economic challenges when it comes to production? What are some other ingredients that you are paying higher than you normally would a year ago besides sugar? Everything is, has spiked. Be at the beginning of this year, um, in the last three weeks, let me just tell you, Floor added about 7,000 Naira. Floor added about 7,000 Naira. Margarine, the one we use, um, 15 kg, maybe different brands, that was going for about 25,000. In less than a month, it added 10,000. It's going for about 36,500. D2 for yeast. Yeast that was going for about, uh, last, a, a, a month ago, was going for about 50,000. It's now going for 62,000 Naira. Milk, the same thing. Of course, egg. Egg has been just a, a, a bit stable, hovering between 4,800 to um, 5,000. Yeah, it creates. Then you talk of the ascorbic acid or the, um, the, the softness. The softness are those things that make the bread very soft and luscious for when you want to consume them. So that one was about, in, in, at the beginning of last month, it was about 1.3 million. It's, sky, it's piped to 2.6 million. So in all of these things, you know, all our costs, all our ingredients are spiking simultaneously. What about the main ingredient, which is flour, which is important, and then the government's new policy that uh, helps uh, with the import duties, negating that you have to pay these import duties if you're bringing in these products. Well, Has that helped in any way? Um, or will it is, help? No, it will help in the long run. Maybe in the next one month or two months, let us see how it pans out with the millers. Because the millers too, they have their own challenges, I keep saying it. They have their own challenges. They produce these um, materials for us to use to make bread, okay? They have their own challenges. So the only thing we are saying is as millers, you know, you don't gorge your price because they are, think about two, three or three big millers that are currently servicing the entire country. Meaning that there's maybe the possibility of um, a duopoly or a monopoly as the case may be. Wait. Three millers yeah, three serving major. 36 major. Three major. When we say major, how many mill, uh, how many machines uh, are we looking at? They are quite big. They service the whole country. Uh, but they do. Give, you say big. Uh, pick, give me a picture. I, I mean, I, I'm not in that industry, but I know they service <laughs> Have you the visited country. any of them? Yes, I've done. Uh, how, how big is it? They are very big. They are at uh, Papa Tinkan. Mm -hmm. They are at uh, Papa Wolf. They yeah. are massive. They are very, uh, very big. I'll tell you something. There's I, a, the, I worked there as a youth. They are big. So ah. I can tell they're huge. They're huge. Um, Compound. The facilities big. are the facilities are yeah. huge. There is um I think they have um, uh, some of them are located in Warrior the Port mm -hmm. and the same thing in Port Harcourt, but it's still basically the same three, four companies yeah. that are doing this whole thing. So having said that, yes, let us see what the next one, two months tells us because the government has said, okay, we are freezing um import duties for now and then the VAT mm -hmm. we are suspending for the next one 150 days, is it not? Yeah. 150 days are to the end 31st of December. But we are still advocating that it shouldn't end there. They should still push it forward to maybe two years so that we can have the effect of this thing crystallized in a bread making. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. So um, now regarding the quality yeah. um, that we're talking about and all this that you've put forward, what has been the reaction from NAFDAC um, regarding this so far? Well, like NAFDAC is our major regulator. Okay, they are the major regulator. Of course, they, we have from time to time, they call out the association to various um, workshops, to, be, to various workshops. And what do we do in those workshops? They tell us the do's and don'ts of bread making and all of it. So, but in class, in PBAN, we ensure that we have a compliant and a provost officer that goes around our bakeries from time to time mm -hmm. to check what they are doing, check their they are, they are dry stores to check the kind of materials they are using. Let me tell you, there are two kinds of nutritive values, I mean nutritive sugars. There is the nutritive, um, there's the sugar that is nutritive mm -hmm. and then there is the non-nutritive type. The nutritive sugar, well, which is sugar, gives calories, energy. Those ones are basically the main sugar that we use in bread making. Then there is the non-nutritive type, mm -hmm. okay, which we call the sweetness. Bread making needs this mm -hmm. for it to be very sweet. People like bread to be sweet, okay? Yeah. Now, in the non-nutritive sweetness, you have shakarin there, you have aspartame, you have asesmeke, asesmeke, ACK, we call it ACK. And this is what Asses. unscrupulous um, um, bread makers use? That no, they don't. 
for instance, in Nigeria, like in Piban, I tell, I, I tell you, there's what we call the Codex. That is, the Codex is the Food and Agriculture Organization slash World Bank procedure for use of additives in bread making and food generally. Okay, there is nothing bad in the use of the sweeteners to do bread. Not shakarin, because Nigeria France had use of shakarin, mm -hmm. but the ACK, the access of making access of access of farming K sweetener mm -hmm. can be used to make bread. And how do you use that in making bread? You use a thousand milligram of fake mm -hmm. per kg of I mean of a uh, wheat floor. I, I appreciate the detail you're trying to give us now, but I really must ask before we end this show now. You always make sure that you are specific regarding your association. Yeah. However, NAFDAQ did tell that there's something going on and you specified that this was in Ibadan. Now, which other associations might uh, 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 be um, that perhaps maybe are culpable when it comes to the NAFDAQ alert? I wouldn't know because there are people, so many bread makers are not in the association. What's been not... the P-Band's response to that NAFDAQ alert? As well? No, we've... we've Okay, the alert on. Uh, yes. We found at it and we protested and we issued a, a press release that PBAN is not part of those people that use shakarin to do bread. Your, what we, your members were PBAN. Is it just only in Lagos? No, or no, no. We are across Nigeria. Nigeria. Across Nigeria. How, across how, Nigeria. How many members do you have? Well, we used to be about um, 170 bakeries, but because of the uh, downturn in the economy, the mortality has hit us by more than, uh, we have shared with by more than 60%. Wow. Yeah, and it goes with job losses. Okay, wow. so in Piban, we don't use we don't use shakarin to do bread, but yes, sweeteners are allowed in making bread. The sweeteners that are allowed in making bread is that type that does not react with heat when you put them in the oven. That does not cause problem for people like the one I just enunciated here, mm -hmm. ACK, the raw sugar. Mm -hmm. You add them together, and let me say this: for those people that are even using shakarin, it's not good. You know why it's not good? One. It, it distorts the structure of your bread. It affects your bulk weight. In making bread, there's what we call the bulk weight. Let me give you a synopsis of it. You do 50 kg. If you want to bulk your, 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 your entire dough weight, you do 50 kg gram of the, um, of the wheat, maybe a 10, uh, a, a 10 kg of sugar. You add your margarine, your fat. You do about maybe 1.5 um, uh, kg. Then you add all of these things up into your bowl, mix it, it gives you your dough weight. When you are cutting your dough to size, okay, because the volume is big, it gives you better volume, it gives you better yield, mm -hmm. it gives you better quality. Like I told you about the sweeteners, the sweeteners uses very minute quantity, meaning that in the use of sugar, instead of doing 10 um, 10 kg of sugar you are replacing with about five you are replacing with about five five gram you can see that that volume of sugar compared to the five gram will affect your bulk weight ultimately and affect your yield and affect the structure of your bread affect the crust of your bread affect everything about your bread you understand so for us in Piban we say zero tolerance to the use of shakarin zero tolerance to the use of us of, 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 of materials besides, we use the right type of material besides the wavering of the import duty on uh, on food and as well as uh, uh, besides that measure that the government has introduced what are the measures you think the government or policies the government needs to introduce to to aid uh, uh, food manufacturing companies especially uh, bread makers well what they need to do are numerous and multifaceted in nature if i may suggest backward integration is one backward integration is one let us ensure that we grow it in the country let us ensure that this um the yeast and other materials that we are using because basically we do they do most of them 100 percent import into the country ensure that we domicile them in country have the, the factories that are manufacturing it so that you can drive down the cost of uh, the ingredients and uh, with that you can with that with that, the prices of bread will at least come down and then you can be able to create a job for Nigerians in those industries that are set up here. So that is just it. Backward integration, ensure that these things are manufactured in country and ensure that we aggressively grow wheat in the country and even the sugarcane and to ensure that we have a lot of uh, these things that we use in making bread domiciled in country.
When I saw that news about the Sakharini, it was very interesting to see that we're back to the early 2000s, where we are back to day one of us fighting against uh, this, this uh, use of uh, 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 harmful ingredients in, in food. And so I have to ask you, for members that are not part of, or bread makers that are not part of PBAN, what message would you give to them, as well as bread consumers in Nigeria who might be concerned about the safety of the bread that they are purchasing? What should they be looking out for? And also to bread makers, uh, you know, advise to them in, in, in court and corners. Summarily, please. You know, let me say this. I will always talk for PBAN. We don't do that and we frown at it. If anybody is involved, uh, involved in that kind of nefarious activities, it is not good. Don't use shakarin, don't use unwholesome material to make your bread. Rather than do that, use the right type of materials. Spike your price a bit so that you maintain your quality. You understand me? And to be very honest, that kind of sweeping statement that was made by the NAVDAC LSO is not good for the industry. You know, it tends to want to demarcate what we are doing as people that are toiling for, uh, uh, for, the, for the country. We feed the nation, but somebody cannot just come out and become um, very rascally with words and say, uh, they are using saccharin. What are the indices the person she, or the, 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 the NAVDAC official use? If he just goes to Ibadan, pick up a, a few bread, have you, you are using it now to to um, to tar, the entire bread, to makers, tar, the the entire bread, ma bread makers. It is not, it was done in bad taste. And after that, after the NAVDAC official made that pronouncement, they started making different kind of skits. You can see different kind of podcasts coming out telling Nigerians not to buy bread, that bread is harmful. I saw one yesterday and I was, wow, taking aback. What does this mean? Are they saying that we shouldn't produce bread again because of the nefarious, uh, nefarious activities of a few Nigerians? No. So what, what should consumers look out for when they're buying bread off the shelf? What are some of the signs that you know that, you know, this thing Perhaps is... This is dangerous for is, me. This is not... What a... If you buy your bread, the first thing, if you buy your bread, look out for first the labeling of that bread. Look out for first whether they address a full number on the bread bag, whether it's a known... whether it has um, a company name, then, after looking at that, when you open the bread, you eat the bread. If the bread has harmful addictive, there's what we call aftertaste. And how do you know a bread that has aftertaste? If you eat it, the sweet is terminal. Mm. The sweet doesn't just, you just, you know, when you eat sweet like sugar, it comes and you just eat it, it's sweet and it's just there. That's it. Yeah, but if it is laden with saccharin or any bad doesn't material. linger yeah if it, it lingers it lingers, oh, it lingers. lingers. Yeah, it lingers yeah. in the oh. tongue and as i lingering it gives you an aftertaste that is so in your mouth and i would mouth have thought that, that was the good one actually. no that's not Thanks the good for one that no information. no you I, give you wow. you give you that aftertaste as soon as you eat it it lingers and then you get that taste that is so oh. and yeah bitter. i don't like that mr nora i want to say thank you for especially for that piece of information and thank, thank you for bringing your insights thank you very much, um, thank you into so much. this matter thank you very here much. and uh, we've, uh, we appreciate that thank you very much thank you for having me thanks for watching kindly subscribe to our channel god bless you